So hello everyone, welcome to my uh, channel. My name is Dr. Lee. I come from Bukit Matajam. Now I'm staying in Johor in a town called Kluang. So welcome everyone. I'm now uploading my video, my book actually, my second book, which is uh, written in two languages. So it's bilingual, Bahasa Melayu and English. So we are now coming to the end of the book because this book, level two, has 40 lessons all together. We are now at lesson 38. We are coming to the end because once I finish 38, I will go to 39 and 40. So this is lesson 38, our first part one, part one or video one. The topic is statements and questions. So statements are sentences where you put a full stop at the end. But questions, you know, you need to put a question mark. If you have this book, please turn to page 122, 122. Exercise 1. Exercise 1, the exercise is change the positive statements to positive questions. So, he is becomes is he. Can you see? When you change places, you look at is, will, will, are, have, will, should, had, was, would, can. If all these words are behind a person, an animal, a thing, a place, it is a sentence. You have to put a full stop. But if is, shall, shall, are, have, will, should, have, was, would, can, is in front, is the first word in, is the first word, then it is no more a sentence. It becomes a question. So you need to put a question mark. So he is sentence. Is he question? You will sentence. Shall I question? So you becomes I. When you use I, you don't use will. You use shall. Because shall is used for I and we. When we ask questions. When it is sentences, yes, I will, we will is okay. But this is a question, so we use shall. You will sentence, shall we question. So it can be shall we, it can be shall I. It's okay, don't worry. I don't think, should, should I put shall I or shall we? It depends on your meaning. If you are talking about yourself only, then it's shall I. If you are talking about all of us, then it's shall be that simple, okay? We are sentence, are you question. You have sentence, have I question. He will sentence, will he question. They should sentence, should they question. It had sentence, had it question. He was sentence, was he question. They would sentence, would they question. He can sentence, can he question. That's all. Okay, so remember, when you use is, will, will. Are, have, will, should, had, was, would, can. Behind. Behind a person or behind a pronoun, I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Behind an animal, behind a place, behind uh, people, animals, places and things. Behind small letters, all these blue color words, you have to put a full stop because it becomes a sentence. But if all these words is, shall, shall, are, have, will, should, had, was, would, can, becomes a big letter whereby you switch places. He, we, you, he, they, it, he, they, he, small letters. Then behind you need to put a question mark because you have changed it to a question. Except for I. Now, do not think that you write I in the middle of a sentence, it is a small letter. No. I have seen so many, so, so many uh, students or whoever, they put I, I, in the middle of a passage. No. Where you put I is not important. It must be a capital letter. That is important. So, I anywhere is a capital letter. Okay, so remember, if you put all these words as the first word, it becomes a question. Look here. Change to positive questions. 
So you must becomes must I. So you becomes I. Change places. Again, you can see I is a capital letter. It cannot be a small letter. Okay, and then you put a question mark. So this is a sentence. This is a question. They were sentence. Were they question? So you can see that were W is the big letter, and then they T is the small letter. She has. Has she? So she has is a sentence. Has she is a question. Has becomes the big letter, so it's a question. She is because it's in the middle. It becomes a small letter. I shall. Will you? I shall. So change to the question. I becomes will. Uh, becomes you. So when you use will, you do not say shall because shall is used for I and we. So I cannot say shall you. No. Okay. We could becomes could you. So we and I becomes you. And then this could becomes a big letter. Therefore, you have to put a question mark. Because it becomes a question. You must become must I. So you becomes I. Can you see? Must and capital letters. But I is also capital letter. As I mentioned. Where you put I, it has to be a big letter. So it's a question. I shall becomes will you. Okay? So I will use shall. So shall is behind I, so it's a sentence. When you change to the question, shall becomes will because you use you. You cannot say shall you. So it becomes will you. And then you need to put a question mark. I shall will you. She can. Can she? So this is a sentence, this is a question. Because can is behind she, so it is a sentence. But if can is in front of she, it becomes a Question. So you need to put a question mark. You will become shall I or shall we is okay. Because you means you one person. You can also mean all of you. So when we change to um, a question, will becomes shall. And then of course it can be I, it can be we. Okay, don't worry about, oh should it be I or we? It depends on what you are saying. If you are talking about you alone, then it is I. But if you are talking about all of us, then you change it to we, that's all. The important thing is, when I say I shall or we shall, when you change it to the question, it becomes will you. So whether it is one person or many persons, it is still will you. Okay? She can become can she, you will become shall I or shall we. I am becomes are you. So because I becomes you. So when it's you, you cannot say and you. Because you is R, so it's R, U. Okay, so R, A, big letter, but Y is a small letter. It could becomes could it. So it could is a sentence, could it is a question. So you can see that C is a big letter. When it is a big letter, you need to put a question mark because it is the first word. We are becomes are you. Or am I is still okay because um, we are, but we change to are you. I am is the same, are you, okay? So because you can mean you one person, it can mean you all of you. So exercise one and two, I have already finished. So give me a like, share and subscribe, okay? This uh, topic is very wide. There are quite a number of exercises. So what I can do is um, every two exercises, one video, no choice. No choice, you can see how much is on the whiteboard. Hopefully you can see. But I think if you watch from the computer, you should be able to see all this. If handphone is easy, you just have to stretch it, you can see it big. And uh, clear as well because uh, I'm speaking quite loudly and uh, it is the middle of the night. So there's no disturbance. Okay? So do remember to give me a like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. And uh, if you want to buy my book, my books actually, level 1 or level 2, which is in two languages, uh, bilingual, or if you like to buy both, uh, please uh, WhatsApp to me. Okay, WhatsApp to me. If you want to learn speaking, English speaking, oral, we call it, alright, please go to my TikTok and my Instagram. I have a speaking uh, classes in my TikTok and um, um, 
TikTok, so you can uh, you can just watch if you like. Okay, so I will see you again in my next video. We are coming to the end. Goodbye, everyone.